Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I've collected all the projects I've created so far on this channel in the lightning category. I will show you all my lamps and lampshades DIY ideas. There will be few different ideas to choose from and different styles as well, so hopefully you find something what you want to recreate. Of course, all the projects can be customized to your own preferences, you can change the color or change something about these projects. I'm only giving you the idea. I know lamps, especially lampshades, even that sometimes they are not noticeable straight away as they are hanging on the ceiling, they having a big impact on your interior. They can make any room more cozy and stylish, so I think it's always worth paying a bit more attention to this home decor piece. Okay, let's talk in, let's go to the first project. My first thrifted lampshade I decided to cover it in some small gems. I glue one row of them at first, keeping the same distance between each one. Second row of gems I glue lower and between the ones from the first row. I make sure they are glued properly to the surface. If the glue is not strong enough, you can always use extra drop of hot glue. Once the whole lampshade is fully covered in the gems with the wanted design, I take it outside and give it few layers of spray paint. I'm going with white gloss paint, which gives this lampshade more of the modern look. I take cotton macrame coat and measure circuit of the bottom part of the lamp. The lamp is nice how it is already, but I've decided to add some more details. I cut 50 cm long piece of cord and attach them to my longer piece by creating large head knots. I place the knots next to each other with about 2 cm gap between each one. I take first four loose cord and create square knot. I don't pull it all the way up, I make it few centimeters lower. Once the first row is done, I create another row of square knots. This time I'm using two loose cords from adjacent knots. Altogether I've created three rows and now I will attach it to the bottom of my lampshade with hot glue. To finish this design off I have to create another square knot which will connect two ends of my net. I cut off the excess rope to the same length and my new lampshade is ready. It was a quick way to refresh the look of old and not the nicest color of the lampshade. This is super quick IKEA hack. To create my new kitchen lampshades, I will be using two of these IKEA candle lanterns. They are in great size, color and material which they are made out of. I removed all the labels and the handle. To be able to hang it upside down, I have to swap the order of placing these two parts together. To create lampshade out of this lantern, I will of course need hole uh, on the top where I can place my lightning fixture. First, I have to find the exact middle point of this part as this will have a big impact on how straight this lampshade will hang. To drill the hole in this kind of material, I will need special hole so suitable for metal. To measure how big hole you need to create, Take the unscrewed part from your lightning fixture and compare it to the drill end. I attach the end to my drill and start drilling the hole. 
If you have good quality hole, so it should take you only few seconds to create a nice hole. Please be careful as this material and all the cut edges are very sharp. I put the other part of the lantern back and my new kitchen lampshade is ready. I like flips like this as you change completely the purpose of the item and make it so unique. For my next project I will change the look of the lampshade which goes with the basic IKEA black table lamp. I start with removing the old fabric and clean it. This lampshade consists of two parts. For the first part I cut few pieces of macrame cord, each one 70 cm long. I fold it in half and attach to the top ring by creating large set knot. This design is very easy and you don't even need macrame skills. I take one loose cord at the time and I wrap it around the ring below. I always wrap it the same way so the design is nice and tidy. First section is ready, now I'm going to repeat this process all around. For the bigger section I've decided to tie one end of the cord to the metal part and keeping it on the reel I wrap it all around this section. I stop on each metal part and wrap the cord around it. When the hole become too small for the reel, I've cut few meters of the cord and continue wrapping it this way. Once I've reached the end, I tie the end of the cord to the metal wire. I take loose cords from the top section and pull them through the middle section. Then I wrap each individual cord around the wire. To fill up the gaps I cut short pieces of cord and attach them to the bottom part with large set knots. I untwist all the cords and trim them to the same length. Great idea of changing the look of basic lamp is to add some texture on it. And to do it, I will be using air dry clay. I take a big piece of this clay and start rolling it out flat to about 75 mm thickness. I move the flat piece onto the lamp. I want to cover the whole surface of the lamp, leaving only the screw part untouched. I cut off the excess clay and press down the rest so it sticks nicely to the lamp's surface without any air bubbles. For the missing part I take another piece of clay and just add it onto the lamp. Clay is very soft so blending two pieces together is quite easy. I make small gap for the wire and straighten the bottom part. The surface don't have to be perfect and smooth as I'm going to create the pattern on it anyway. 
To create some kind of honeycomb pattern, I will be using plastic icon. It can be anything with small and round end, which will help you to make the dance. This is the inspiration for my new lamp. It's actually a vase from Anthropology. Going diagonally down, I create dance with my icon. I make one row all the way down and the next one I start by making a new dance between two previous ones. I repeat the process covering the whole lamp surface. Once it's fully covered, I leave it on the side till fully dry. As it was quite a thick layer of clay, it took about two days to dry out. White, air dry clay dries out to more to the off-white color, so I'm going to spray paint it. I think spray paint will be much better choice for this project, as going along with the brush might take you more time. Once the white paint is dry, I take foam roller and gold paint. When I don't press the roller too hard, it only covers the outside edges and that's the effect I'm going for. This project and next lampshade I will create from the scratch. I have two same size embroidery hoops. Mine are 25 centimeters in diameter. I also have plastic parts from old lampshade, which will allow me to hang this lampshade off the ceiling later on. I start with attaching this small circle to my embroidery hoop. To do it, I will be using barbecue skewers. I cut the ends off and then glue the rest of it with the super glue. All together I will glue three sticks, keeping the same distance between each one. I take the hoop and place it on top of the sticks. I make sure the small circle is exactly in the middle and then mark the outside edge of the hoop. Using pliers I cut this part off. Once it all fits perfectly, I can glue it all together. It's important to glue it properly and the construction is strong, as it will hold the whole weight of the lampshade. For the outside part of the lampshade, I will be using old thrifted table mat. You can often find this kind of mat in thrift shops. I always grab them as they are great for so many different projects and ideas. Idea is to wrap the mat around the hooks. I start with top one and using hot glue, I glue a small part of the mat at the time. I cut the excess of the mat off and place the other hoop inside. To add more of the boho vibe, I make the fringe at the bottom of the lampshade. Using Clark Head's nodes, I attach small pieces of cord to one long one. Once the whole length is covered, I brush the cords off, trim them to the same length and glue to the bottom of my lampshade. With my next thrifted lampshade, I gave it a good hoover and clean before jumping to the renovation. As the condition of the fabric is not the best, I decided to paint it. I'm using acrylic paint and apply it with the sponge which doesn't leave as many lines as the brush does. I only paint the outside part of the lampshade. Once the paint is dry, I can start the next step, which is adding the raffia onto it. Instead of wrapping the raffia around, I want to create some sort of waving effect. 
I start with wrapping single raffia piece horizontally around the lampshade. I only put tiny bit of the glue in three different places, but each row will have the glue spot in the same straight line. I create one row at a time, covering the lampshade all the way down. Horizontal lines are done. Now it's time to do the vertical ones. This time the process is more difficult as I have to wave each piece of raffia. I start from the top and go above and under and above and under the following row. Then, using a tiny drop of glue, I glue the raffia to the inside of the lampshade. To make this process easier and slightly quicker, I put raffia through this plastic needle with big eye. I continue the process all the way around till the whole lampshade surface is covered. Next part of this lamp is the lamp base. I'm going to cover it all up with the filler. And to make it more stickable to the shiny surface, I tape it with joining tape. I don't have to cover the whole surface, but I try to stick it to as many places as I can. I mix my filler with small amount of water to make it easy to apply. Using puffy knife, I start applying the filler onto the lamp base. All I want to do is to give this lamp more organic look and not perfect texture. So it looks like more antique vase or something like this. I make quite a thin layer just to cover the tape. I also use my fingers and sponge to add different textures. Once it's dry, I put my new lampshade on it and there we go, completely new boho inspired lamp. This is quite a unique shape of lampshade. If you find exactly the same one, that's bonus, but you can always create this project by connecting two separate same size lampshades together. I start with removing the old fabric and give it a good clean. I take two millimeter thick macrame cord and start my design. I tie one of its ends to the metal part. Because the reel with the cord is too big to go through the gaps in my lampshade, I have to cut off a few meters of it and work like this. I start my design with the top part of the lampshade. Overall, the design is very easy and repetitive. All I do is wrapping my cord around the top and middle wire. I pull the cord each time, making sure it's nice and tight. Once it's about 1 cm away from the metal part, I cut the macrame cord off. I take a jute yarn and tie it to the macrame cord. Then I continue the design the same way. I always count how many times I've already wrapped the jute yarn around, so each part looks exactly the same. I cut this yarn off and again add the macrame cord to it. Mm -hmm. 
This project is inspired by Bon Bon lampshade, which are super expensive. You can choose as many colors as you like and even try different patterns. The top section is done and now I'm going to repeat the process with the bottom section. Each time I wrap it around the middle part of the lampshade, I have to put new a cord between two previous ones. The middle section should form an alternating sequence of cords from the top and bottom section. Once I reach the end, I tie the end of the yarn to the metal part. I cut off any excess cord and spread all the cords evenly. Let me know in the comment section which lamp or lampshade was your favorite. I really like working on thrifted items, even if I sometimes use just the frame of it. And also remember, if you're buying thrifted lamp, make sure it was tested before you plug in it at home. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more ideas. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support, and I will see you in my next video.